Welcome to the Ewe Den. This is lesson number four, and today we're going to add the D major scale. That's our fourth scale, and we are well on our way to hitting our first goal, which is all 12 major scales. When you sit down to practice, I would strongly advise you to say and play all the scales at least one time, and uh, we're going to need those repetitions to get it into our mind and our body and into our intuitive memory bank so we can develop some kind of fluency with our improvisations and our Ewe playing. So uh, to suggest an order, uh, I would do the C scale first, and then I would play, I would stay in the sharp category. This will always be true. We'll stay in the sharp category until we exhaust all the sharps. So we would do G and then D, and then jump over and pick off the flat category, which would be the F scale at this point. So the D major scale does have the note C sharp, and that's a new fingering. Uh, in the front of the Ewe, you, you press nothing. There's nothing pressed down, and that's C sharp. But in the back of the Ewe, your thumb will remain, your right hand thumb will remain on the glide plate or the ground plate, and your left hand thumb will be on this ground strip and still in contact with the roller. So here is the note C sharp. All right, so I'm gonna say the D scale. It's D, E, F sharp, G, a, B, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D. Slowly playing the D scale. At this point, it doesn't matter if they're even or locked to a groove. I mean, that's coming, but right now it's just think the correct note next and know what the fingering is going to be before you play it. So for our mission today, we'll say the scale over top of the background track, then we'll play the scale, and then we'll do this exercise with the bend down. We'll, we'll put our thumb on the bend down and then play the D and bend up to D like this. We'll do the same thing with E. Our thumb is on the bend down, play the E and then bend up. And continue that for the rest of the scale. That's what we'll do. Then let's just improvise. And remember, you could use the bend up, you could bend down and up, hold long notes and phrases with short notes, and all the while remembering to check out the rhythm section once in a while. So here we go with the D major play along track. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna play it, we're gonna do some bends. Here we go. sharp G A B C sharp D C sharp B A G F sharp E
we're going to improvise. Okay, so that should be a really nice exercise to do, and you can repeat that in all the previous keys that we did. Okay, I hope this is helping you out. Hit like if you like it. Uh, please leave, leave comments if you have some suggestions or some things that you would like to know about. You know, uh, you can guide the direction of this too. So, hope you're having a great day, and talk to you soon.